So yeah, if you are applying for these loans and you don't need them for your business, let the small businesses who really need these loans get that money. And be clear, it is a loan, so it can be forgiven if you use it for the right purposes, for making sure that you can pay your employees, pay your lease, whatever it is that you need it for. It's not just for you to just have some more money. But I told you, I told you, I told you. YouTube, YouTube, what is going on? I'm your host, Runaway Child, and I'm back at y'all with another one. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, take the opportunity right now. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button. And if you're already subscribed to the channel, hey, throw a like on this video. A like don't cost you anything to throw on this video. It is for free, so please show your boy some love. But anyhow, what I got for y'all today is flat truckers. I hate to say it, I hate to say it, but I told you, I told you, I told you. Once again, Flair Trucking is on point with the things that he tell y'all. See, this is why you should subscribe to the channel. Because I know y'all be saying, man, half of the time, Runaway Child don't be knowing what the hell he be talking about. He just be throwing stuff out here. But I told you. What did I tell y'all? A lot of these trucking companies and a lot of these trucking gurus are going to start going down for these PPP schemes. A lot of them took that PPP money and they did a whole lot of screwing the trucking industry up. Mississippi Trucking Company to pay almost 500,000 in PPP scheme. So these guys out in Mississippi, they done ran a whole scheme where they done basically scheme for a bunch of money, got their bank to uh, do some fraudulent stuff and yeah, they got caught up in it. You know, it's gonna be a lot more of them. I don't know if y'all remember old, old Mo from out of Atlanta on uh, Love and Hip Hop. A few years back, they got him too. You know what I'm saying? So let me go ahead and get into this story and let y'all hear this. Federal judge has ordered a Mississippi truck company and its owners, Xavier Bailey, to pay more than 500000 after finding Bailey made false statements in order to obtain funds through the U.S. Small Business Association. The forgivable loan was enacted to help the struggling business pay employees interest on mortgages, rent, utilities as part of the coronavirus aid, relief, and economic security, or the CARES Act. I'm quite sure a lot of y'all know, know what that was if you like owner operator or a small business owner. You know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all knew what that CARES Act was. They, they had it going around and they were telling these guys, hey, look, y'all get that loan and y'all ain't filled that paperwork out right or y'all put some fraudulent stuff on that paperwork. Hey, them folk coming for you. They coming for you. And a lot of y'all went on out and did it anyway. I know I know some people who did it too, you know what I'm saying? But they didn't they didn't scrape for no huge, large amount. You know, they got them for it's just, you know, enough to pretty much carry them through because a lot of people was hurting during that time when Cap 19 was in place, you know what I'm saying? But it said, besides ordering Bailey and his trucking company to pay nearly 500000 in treble damages under the False Claim Act, which allows the U.S. government to recover up to three times the amount of the actual damages, Davidson was ordered to also pay civil penalties up to 27000 and two more violations of the False Claims Act. So this Bailey guy, man, he he done screwed up. You know what I'm saying? He might even be looking at a little bit of jail time. But I told you, I told you, man, a lot of these guys screwed the truck industry up when they got the PPP loan. I mean, like really screwed the game up. And a lot of y'all older drivers that's been out here, y'all know exactly what I'm saying, man. Some of these guys had one truck, they wind up getting 20 trucks and they didn't know what the hell they was doing and they started uh taking anything taking loads for a little bit of nothing and uh yeah and next thing you know the broker started seeing what was going on and hey you can't knock them though you can't knock them they always just trying to get in on a piece of the pie but what happened what happened Federal prosecutors filed a civil lawsuit against Bailey and his trucking company in June of 2022. The U.S. District Court of the Northern 
District of Mississippi alleging that the truck company owner presented a fraudulent claim to obtain a PPP loan from the Blue Ridge Bank in April of 2021. So he done got went to his banker and told his banker, hey, I need you to get me this PPP loan, bro. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I know I don't qualify for it, but a lot of people getting over on it and I need you to, you know, falsify the paperwork. So Bailey went on to do that and then now he coming back and he basically gonna have to pay uh right here is listed that he's claimed claimed that he had nine employees and listed his expenses as almost two hundred thousand in wages tips and other compensation for the truck company which davidson wrote was inaccurate as bailey's trucking company did not make a dime during that time that he claimed his business was in operation. So, and Bailey also stated that he used 1099 workers that he claimed as employees, which isn't permitted to receive a PPP loan anyway. So he done filled out the paperwork wrong, or his bank company, banker, he they done filled out the, 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 the paperwork wrong and got him in a whole crossfire. So in December of 2022, Bailey filed a third-party complaint. Bailey now, Bailey, he filed a third-party complaint against the Blue Ridge Bank, claiming that the bank officials should have known that he didn't meet the requirements to receive the funds. So basically what he done did is, oh, y'all got me, so I'm fixing to try to blame it on the bank. When he know he went to the bank and, and got the bank to do this for him, and now that you done got caught, oh, you want to throw the bank under the bus too. Man, come on, man. Get on out of here with all that mess, man. We know what's going on. They know what's going on. Them folks is not playing with y'all, man. They is not playing. It's more of y'all that they coming for. It's more of y'all that they coming for. They just getting y'all a little bit at a time. But I just want to bring that story to y'all so y'all can see and let your friends know, hey, man, runaway child, man. He, he, he kind of on point with what he talking about. I ain't going to say I'm always on point. And, and, you know, I always get it right and everything. But I think in this case right here, I think I got it right. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go back, check out some of the previous videos that I done dropped, and you'll see. Hey, and I'm going to put this story up there, man, so y'all can see it and, and, and y'all can see what what's really going on or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Y'all let me know what y'all think. This, this is my, my take on it and what I just told y'all. That was that was my that was my own opinion and my own theory of what I think what was going on, what happened. So y'all let me know what y'all think. Hit me up in the comment section. Send it out to a friend. Let a, ask a friend what he think about it. Hey, what you you think they were getting over? Yeah, I mean, it's like I said, I ain't saying anything wrong with it. I'm just saying like, hey, you got a lot of y'all who's getting these PPP loans. I ain't saying everybody. But a lot of y'all, y'all got the y'all got the game, y'all got the trucking industry screwed up right about now. You know what I'm saying? And 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 I, it's a lot of drivers, man. A lot of trucking companies, they they could not survive, and they don't fail by the wayside. It's a lot more gonna fall by the wayside, cause it's a lot more stuff to come down the line. And I'm gonna keep y'all informed on it. Yes. What y'all wanna do, man? Y'all wanna let go? Let's go.